Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Wayne, here today. We got something special for y'all because we are at McDonald's where they got a new collaboration going on. This time with Cardi B and Offset. I don't know who Offset is, but apparently it's a collaboration with them. Now, this did come out about a week or two ago, so it's a little bit late, but you know, hey, it's still a good time to review it, right? And anyway, it comes with a whole bunch of different items all together for a total price of $15.49 plus tax, which is $1.28, for a total of $16.77. So you guys can get it too. And with that being said, let's go in for a close off. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the new Cardi B and Offset Celebrity Meal with McDonald's. As you can see, they give quite a few different items, all which smells absolutely fantastic. So what it comes with is a cheeseburger that pairs up with a tangy barbecue sauce, quarter pound with cheese, large fries, and also an apple pie. Not only that, it comes with two drinks, a Coke and a large high C. Overall, it looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait. I'm just taking a look at this. Look at how much food there is. Oh man, I'm getting hungry, so you know what time it is. Let's get to tasting. So now that we've got the close up out the way, it's time to try the food. And oh man, I cannot wait. First things first, let's try out the french fries. You can see this is a large french fry, whole bunch of different things. They filled it to the brim, and it looks absolutely incredible. Let's grab a fry. But before we get started, make sure to like this video, also subscribe to my channel for more delicious food reviews. And as you can see, the fry itself looks nice and stiff, nicely seasoned too. Hopefully, it tastes good. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's a good fry. Mm-hmm. Now you know McDonald's fries is always consistent no matter where you go. Mmm. It's like the fries themselves is super crispy and crunchy on the outside, while still retaining its soft, fluffy, pillowy sensation on the inside. Lightly seasoned for a salty flavor. Absolutely delicious. This is good. Now next up, we got, I believe this is Cardi's meal. It's a regular cheeseburger. As you can see, a bun, a cheese, beef, and that's literally it. Is there, there's a pickle in here and some onions. Overall, it looks okay, I guess. Kind of sad and deflated, but it's a cheeseburger. What can you do? It's like a dollar or something more. Anyways, so I think the key here is to put tangy barbecue sauce on the cheeseburger. I think that's what Cardi does. So we're gonna open up the barbecue sauce like that. Open up the cheeseburger and let's put the barbecue sauce on it so let's pour some barbecue sauce pour 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 generous amount oh yeah that looks so good all right put that here and let's close this up and this is apparently what cardi b gets all the time at mcdonald's so hopefully it tastes good cheers mm. Mm. it's okay you know, oh, this is leaking. You know, the cheeseburger by itself, it is what it is. I think everyone knows what a McDonald's cheeseburger tastes like. Bun itself, soft and fluffy. Down under it is a little bit toasted nicely, a little bit crisp. Beef itself, not really seasoned well, but it's tender, it's juicy. Cheese, I wish it could be a little bit more melted, but other than that, it's an okay cheeseburger. But once you pair it up with that tangy barbecue sauce, and that barbecue sauce is what gives it all the flavor. It gives a nice sweet sensation, a little bit smoky too. Makes it not as dry, because without the sauce, it's a little bit dry to be honest. But once you add the sauce, it gets over the dry problem and gives it some flavor. Overall, not bad, but I highly doubt Cardi B goes to McDonald's and get the cheeseburger with barbecue sauce. Don't really believe that. And that barbecue sauce is leaking everywhere. That is a messy combination. I'm not a fan of that, but it was okay for what it is. Next up, we got the quarter pounder with cheese and I believe Offset gets this. Still don't know who Offset is, but this looks actually like the cheeseburger that people think of. So when you look at the other cheeseburger, that looks like it's been on a keto diet, struggling around, trying to lose weight. But this is what I call a cheeseburger. You got a bun, you got pickles, onions, same thing as the regular cheeseburger, but a lot more luxurious. You got a big piece of beef patty and an extra piece of cheese. So, hope it's good. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah, way better, way better. Immediately after biting, you can already tell this is just way more luxurious than the other cheeseburger. After all, the quarter pound of cheese is still a cheeseburger. It's just the more elevated, the big brother, the more luxurious version of that other cheeseburger we had. That other cheeseburger is struggling on Diet Street. But this, this is what you think of when you get a cheeseburger. As you see, overall, all the items work together pretty well. But it's soft, soft and fluffy. You got the sesame seeds. Cheese, I love that they use two slices of cheese melted nicely. Because the other cheeseburger, that cheese wasn't melted. This cheese is melted properly. You got the pickles for a nice acidity. Ketchup for that sweet flair. Beef itself a little bit thicker. Seasoned about the same. Overall, it's soft, it's tender. Overall, it's a good cheeseburger. And I actually like that. 
that this one for some reason just doesn't feel dry at all. The other one feels dry. This actually works. Hmm. Oh yeah. I actually like this. And now that also comes with two drinks. So we got a Coke over here and also high C over there. Let's try the Coke. Hmm. That's so good. As you know, everyone knows what Coke tastes like. I highly doubt anyone has never tried Coke before. This is pretty good. Next up, we got the high C. As you can see, this is what the high C looks like. I'm gonna just use the same straw, it's okay. So as you can see, poke, the, poke it in. Good orangey flavor. Overall, not bad either. Overall, I like the drinks. But not only that, you also get a baked apple pie with the Cardi B and Offset meal. And I can't wait. As you know, I love baked apple pies. Let's open up. As you know, McDonald's apple pies are always pretty good. Let's take it out. Oh, what the heck? This is broken. Uh, okay, let's get the other half out. Come, come, come. So this is what it looks like. Overall, it doesn't look too bad except for the broken piece. Whole bunch of apple filling, nicely crispy and crunchy on the outside. Let's give it a bite. Cheers. I just love how it's so warm too. Mmm. Okay. Outer exterior, you know, it's crispy, it's crunchy, very flaky too. But it's all about the inside filling, that apple filling, you know. I don't know if there's apple pieces in here or whatnot. Let me see. Okay. There is apple pieces in here. That's pretty good. The filling itself. It tends to be more on the very sweeter side. I prefer my pie to be a little bit less sweet, but it's not bad. You know, you can feel the apple texture is a little bit mushy. There's also apple jello type of fillings on the side too. Overall, it's a good pie. But even with that being said, I should say this meal does cost $16.77 after tax, which is super expensive considering all these items you can literally get on the menu already. There's nothing new here. And if you think about it, like this is really lazy marketing McDonald's. Like. There's nothing new. When you think of a collaboration meal, something special happening, you would expect something unique, one of a kind, something that's never been done before to come out. But like all of your celebrity meals so far, McDonald's have all just been re-releases of items that you already had. A cheeseburger, you could probably get on the menu for like a dollar or something. Quarter pound, quarter pound of cheese, like three or four dollars. Like fries, apple pie. There's nothing new here. This is just really lazy. It's just like. It's really disappointing because I remember when you did the BTS meal, at least you bought in some unique sauces. That was actually pretty good. Sweeties, even though it was kind of old items too, it still mixed and match. It was kind of fun, I guess. But every other celebrity meal is just all old items. It's just such a lazy marketing tactic. Come on, McDonald's. You can do better. For as much money as you earn, you could give us some unique items. But with that being said, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would I rate the new Cardi B and Offset celebrity meal? I mean, I give it a, I give it a five, you know, nothing really special, flavors not really popping or standing out, it just feels average, I mean, they're all old items that you know and tried before, nothing special here, so I, I definitely give it a five. With that being said, all I have to say is that, you know, if you are wanting to try the new Cardi B and Offset meal, I would probably say skip it, or just buy the items individually, you don't get the, don't get the whole meal, because it's just not worth it like how much did i pay again sixteen dollars and seventy seven cents that is super expensive you get so much better foods for that same price like personally for me i would skip this meal with that being said that about ends the video thank you so much for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment share the videos all your friends and family also if you haven't done so already please be sure to subscribe to my channel because you know i'm a small youtuber any support does go a long way and with that being said catch y'all later